is blockchain changing the gaming industry? So I don't know what you think about the gaming industry, but I'm pretty sure blockchain is playing a huge role of transforming the gaming industry. So I would like to invite to stage our moderator, Sergey Severvansson, and we also have um, Siddhartha Menon, Roman Povolovsky, um, Tibold Verbiast, Kirill Mishani, and Ankit Gore. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, till the panel is coming, guys, welcome. I would like just a little bit, not so much, a little bit, correct my surname. My surname is Sevancian. It's just related to Lake Sevan, Armenia. This is an amazing place where I'd like to live in. But right now we found another. We love Dubai. And yes, please have a seat. Uh, if, if just something happened, Raman, uh, we are waiting for you here. Uh, Ankit and uh, Sitag, maybe you are somewhere around because the next. I mean, after one hour, we will have after party and mostly speakers coming to enjoy after party like yesterday we do. Let's, guys, 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 I need your attention. If you want to speak, there is a good place. I would like to get your attention because really I'm happy that I'm staying in front of you. I really have huge respect to the people who are still with us. And, you know, uh, let's, let's go to the how game industry or how game or how blockchain has an uh, impact or changing the gaming. But I would like to mention something interesting for you guys. Actually, uh, we are playing one game and the name of the game is live. And I'm just really happy, just we are alive. Our main goal of this game is to keep alive, very simple. In other games, I don't know what will be happen. In a blockchain industry, people try to pay for the game, try to, to pay for some action, but our main goal as human being, I feel this is the life. This is one game. From another perspective, some IT guys prepared some digital space where you have another maybe goals, but where you have a very good solution, you can don't be killed. Wow, this is literally amazing. What's happened, you know, is somewhere you can play some game, do something and don't be killed. Just have a chance to test one more time. One more time, chance, blah, this is cool. In the real life, you cannot test some ideas and say like, okay, this time I failed, I will do something else. When you failed, what they doing? Say, this is 100% scammer, go, don't, don't work with them. Unfortunately, this is the reality of our life. But what's the impact of the blockchain industry to the GameFi or to the gamification? Actually, about 10 years ago, someone, oh, I'm really proud of him, Satoshi Nakamoto came, implemented something, do it open source without any money, without any expectation, put it into the humanity, and right now we are here. We are playing this blockchain game with each other, but you know what's the problem? Why not everyone here? Because it looks like game. No one believing that money can be digital. I'm really just super surprised. So many people believe into banks that they're sending money, money to each other just with the transaction. But when someone interesting done based on the blockchain, not no one believe because we are believers here. We are sitting here, but the impact is not enough maybe because of the seriousness. And you know, I'm a little bit Greek, not so much, a little bit, and I'm believing in mythology, like in Greek, there will be so many gods, like Zeus, blah, blah, blah. And you know, now the IT guys and IT person, they become in a game, in English, some gods, they can create the rules, they can create the games, they can create something super special where we can live and enjoy. Guys, I would like from you to share how what, or what kind of God you are in your, in your platform. What do you do and what kind of game we are going to play this time? Please, guys, give them applause. Just warm applause. Yes, I'm proud of you.
The first word goes to, I'm so sorry, I would like to pronounce in a Thibault Verbest. Amazing. Thank you so much. Yes, go ahead. Uh, okay. Yeah. okay. Cool. Thank you, Sergey. You know, uh, you were talking about uh, being alive. You are very alive. <laughs> there is no doubt. And I'm feeling somehow more alive now. And uh, um, first, thank you for all of you to stay. And so we are not feeling uh, too, uh, too lonely tonight. And, uh, and sorry for, for, the, for the strange, strange timing. And um, so uh, the good news is that this is like a family session now just the two or the three of us. So just a few thoughts about uh, blockchain and, uh, and gaming because that's the topic of, of this panel is uh, to what extent uh, blockchain can influence uh, gaming and the future of gaming. I'm a lawyer by profession, so I, I like to break down things, you know, and be organized while I'm trying to do so. So I, I, I see probably six, uh, six points that I could... First, is that's something that I think that most of us understand. And that's the big revolution brought by blockchain is uh, the possibility to have a real ownership in a, in a, in a gaming environment. And that's, that's the first driver where blockchain is bringing a real revolution to gaming. We all know it. It's a revolution brought by, uh, by NFTs. Ownership, real ownership of gaming assets is number one. And uh, number two, I would say, is uh, the, the right to... Um, decision making and that's uh, the second revolution is uh, decision making it's uh, uh, notably you know through governance tokens and what also DeFi can can bring uh, to gaming is the possibility for a community of users to have a voice and to participate in the governance or in the decision making I'm not saying that it's very visible in many games today but there is a promise there and some projects are proposing that possibility of a new democracy. And for instance, the project that I have co-founded, Payfoot, is in that philosophy where uh, we have built a metaverse for football. And, and in that metaverse, fans, football fans, have a voice. Have a voice in the decisions that affect the metaverse. Uh, for instance, if a new league is created uh, in the metaverse, uh, it must be validated or even proposed by the community of fans through governance tokens that we call club tokens. It's just an example. I realize how fans just become super happy now they are appearing in the metaverse is not on this, uh, you know, on the arena, <laughs> just fighting with each other. This is amazing. You know, I like the concept. Yeah. Uh, you know, I have a proposal because it's a family session that I am not going through all the six points because then I will monopolize the, uh, you know, uh, let's just share the, the, the thoughts and I will continue afterwards. Yeah, yes, hello. My name is Kirill Mishanian. I'm the founder of InfoDriver Capital and we as a fund, we are searching the project who brings real value for gamers industry. So the funny stuff that such project like Meta from Facebook, they are not related to games at all. So we just try to build game, but they pick up the name of the hype and the days and they start to push uh, the market. The opposite, like uh, electronic arts, we have million of million already exist customers and this is real metaverse which already exists and they doesn't want to push very fast into blockchain. They have uh, their own marketplace, they have their own league, they have billion dollars uh, teams in different games and the reason for blockchain is not to build everything into metaverse. It doesn't need it. There are a lot of startups who just pick up a solution and do doesn't understand the real value of blockchain. In gaming industry, the real value of blockchain is to bring transparency and to build a easy swap of the assets. For example, I like to play Counter-Strike. I have super gold weapon of my AK-47. When I become elder, I don't want to use it anymore. And I want to sell my assets to another guy. And this is where blockchain goes on the stage. This is my idea and this is such project we are searching as an investment fund. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, you want to add something? Yeah, the, 
the other points, I, the, um, the, the third point I see is uh, the possibility to engage and to reward more the users in the, in the, in, in, in the games, you know, and that's what we call, of course, play to earn games. That's, that's the, second, the second big innovation brought by, by blockchain. The fourth is security, uh, because you know when you have a gaming environment, when you have to buy or, or sell something, and that you use the traditional uh, payment systems, you may have fraud and, and false identity and and, uh, and and chargebacks and things like that that are not you know possible anymore with uh, crypto payments and and so that sec security in payments and in transactions. And the fifth is privacy, and that's 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 a very important element that you that you see in in, in blockchain in general. But uh, when you uh, can evolve in a in a gaming environment with a decentralized identity, you know, where the elements of your privacy of your identity are not stored by the publisher of the game, that's also a big innovation, because you know that's that's what we want now. The, at least the new generation. They don't want to become the product of, of, the, of the platform by, by seeing their data being used by the platform. So that's the identity, decentralized identity is very important. And the last point, and I think that's the most important point actually, that we hardly discuss, and uh, because we don't see it really, it's because that's the layer zero of, block, of, of everything in the, in the internet, is the infrastructure, is the, is the streaming, and the cloud infrastructure. You know, when you, when you develop a, a, a metaverse, for instance, and we have seen it with, uh, with Payfoot, is that you can build something very beautiful, very, very elaborated. At the end of the day, you need to stream it, unless you have an app. But even if you have an app, certain elements must be streamed. And, uh, and then it's becoming very tricky for most metaverses today, especially if they are built on Unreal 5. And, um, and we are all of them trying to optimize our metaverses, but we use uh, Amazon, we use uh, you know, the big clouds, et cetera. And the big revolution is coming now with decentralized cloud and decentralized grid for computing. And, uh, and that's the major, big, big, major revolution which is coming and that will change everything in the gaming, in the gaming industry mm -hmm. because it's just too expensive. And so projects like Aleph, like uh, Threefold, like Definity and others are bringing not that possibility to have a decentralized infrastructure for cloud, computing, GPU, and we desperately need it. When we build blockchain-based gaming and metaverse, we need it. Otherwise, it's, there is too much latency most of the time, or it's too expensive, or it's just too expensive to, uh, to, to stream it. And that's absolutely crucial. Thank you. Kirill, you want to add something because the time is up. I saw even, I heard even the message burn. Just, please, guys, leave this stage. We're already done. Maybe you want to add something, and I will do the conclusion if you don't mind. So, actually, for your understanding, uh, if you're an investor or you start to invest some money, your pocket money, uh, try to dig the technology which could be a mass adoption. For example, in, in future metaverse, you need to have a possibility to approve transaction. So it could be voice, it could be your card which attached before that and you in your VR uh, glasses just say some comment and push a couple buttons. This is a technology. If you just open the website which, which has a lot of pictures and uh, a lot of uh, tokens which you need to buy without any value for end customers. This is not metaverse. This is not uh, game fire or whatever. It's just project who raising money or whatever. Think about technology and invest in technology and use cases. Thank you. Thank you so much. You know, guys, I would like to take from you just this applause is because, you know, when me as a speaker coming on the stage, I would like to see audience in front of me, like people really enjoying what we're speaking. But when there is no audience, it means the life is still going. Thank you so much for your time. Keep going.
keep be alive thank you thank you so much for staying and listening thank now you now it's party time <laughs>